Kira, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dublin. Today, I'm going to show you how you can install a free Let's Encrypt SSL certificate onto your Bitnami stack hosted on Amazon Lightsail. Let's get started. From the AWS Management Console, open the Lightsail console. Select Create Instance. I'll be creating my Lightsail instance in the Ireland region. You can change your region or availability zone by choosing the Change AWS Region and Availability Zone button. For the blueprint, I'll be using the WordPress stack on a Linux system. Let's create a new SSH key pair to access the LightSail instance. Select Change SSH key pair. Create New, Create. Enter a name to tag the new key pair. Then select the Generate key pair button. For this video, I'm going to download the newly created SSH private key so that I can remotely connect to my LightSail instance from my local machine through SSH. Press download key and save the downloaded file to your local machine. From my local machine's SSH client, I will change permissions on the SSH key file to make it readable and writable only by me. This is a security best practice required by some operating systems. For this video, I'm going to use the default pricing plan. You should select the pricing plan that matches your requirements. Finish creating the LightSail instance by tagging it with a name, and then selecting Create Instance. Navigate back to the LightSail homepage by clicking on the Amazon LightSail button. Open the Networking tab and select the Create Static IP button. From the drop down menu, select your new LightSail instance. Give your static IP a name to easily identify it and attach the IP to your LightSail instance by selecting the Create button. You will see that the static IP has been attached to your new LightSail instance. Next, we will configure the DNS records for the website. To configure an SSL certificate on the Bitnami stack, we will need to create an A record for the root domain and a CNAME record for the subdomain. Open the Networking tab and then select your DNS zone. For the root domain, Create an A record to map the domain to the static IP. Choose Add Record. From the drop down, leave A record selected. Use the at symbol to define the root domain. The root domain doesn't contain a subdomain. Resolve the root domain to the newly created static IP. Press the green check mark to confirm the root domain is mapped to the static IP. For the subdomain, create a CNAME record to map the subdomain. To the root domain. For this tutorial, I will configure the CNAME record to map the subdomain www to the root domain. Choose Add Record. From the drop down, select CNAME Record. Enter your subdomain and map it to the root domain. Click the green check mark to confirm the CNAME record is mapped to the root domain. Open your terminal or command prompt and run a DNS lookup with the host command to confirm that the A record and CNAME record are mapped correctly. Copy the domain from the output and paste the domain into your browser to confirm that it's only accessible over HTTP and not HTTPS. You'll see that the browser tells you the connection is not secure as HTTPS has not been enabled. To make the connection secure, we need to install the Let's Encrypt SSL certificate and enable HTTPS on the Bitnami stack. Connect to your LightSail instance over SSH. For this tutorial, I will connect to my LightSail instance from my local machine's SSH client. You can also connect to the LightSail instance using the browser-based SSH shell in the LightSail console. To SSH from your local machine to your LightSail instance, use the following SSH command. Make sure to use the static IP for your LightSail instance and the directory path for where you save the SSH key file on your machine. Using the following command, we'll run the Bitnami HTTPS configuration tool to install the SSL certificate. The tool checks for updated versions of itself. If prompted, enter Y to download the new version of the tool. It's a best practice to use the latest version of the tool. Enter the command to run the Bitnami configuration tool. When prompted, enter the domain and subdomain that you want to create an SSL certificate for. Next, you will be asked to select the redirections you wish to enable. 
For this video, we will be configuring HTTP to HTTPS redirection. To configure the SSL certificate, the Bitnami configuration tool must configure the HTTP to HTTPS redirection, cron job for automatic certificate renewals, and restart the server. Accept the list of changes proposed for your system by entering Y to agree to the changes. If you reject the changes by selecting No, you'll return to the domain page. You'll then be asked to enter an email address to associate with the Let's Encrypt certificate and asked to agree to the Let's Encrypt terms of service. The tool performs the changes and restarts the server. This can take a few moments. The Bitnami tool presents you with its configuration report. Press Enter to continue. You can review the SSL certificate files for your domain under the following directory. Now open your browser and confirm that the SSL certificate is installed and the HTTP to HTTPS redirection is working for your domain. The padlock icon confirms that you're securely connecting to your domain over HTTPS. So now you know how to configure a Let's Encrypt SSL certificate on your Bitnami stack hosted on Lightcell, which will allow users to securely connect to your domain over HTTPS. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. <laughs>